Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan, the YouTube channel that's not hosted by a sociopath, a narcissist, or a grifter. And speaking of all those horrible things, Piers Morgan, who thinks he has this demonstrative proof that vegans are somehow hypocrites or responsible for the billions of bees that get killed in the production of almonds and avocados. Well, all this came up in a discussion that Piers was having with Joey Carbstrong, who did a great job of dealing with Piers' main tactic of shouting and trying to intimidate, intimidate his guests. I'm glad Joey didn't let down one bit. So wait, let's jump into this. We're gonna start off with the first guest he had right with and before Joey, this restaurant owner who banned all vegans from his restaurant after receiving one unkind comment from one vegan and i got to show you this for context where it comes later so many chefs like john mountain who runs fire restaurant in perth australia is also leading the fight back he's made global headlines this week after announcing sadly all vegans are banned from fire for mental health reasons we thank you for your understanding Many didn't understand. He's been flooded with fake bookings and hostile reviews. And you might be wondering, why did this guy ban all vegans? I'll give you a little hint here. Joey exposes it later. Is that this guy received one poor review from one vegan, so he banned all vegans because of this one not positive review he got. My thing about vegans is they tend to be, I don't know, they seem to me permanently hangry. Like the lack of meat in their diet makes them very intolerant of people <laughs> and they get very agitated. I mean, talk about irony and hypocrisy. I mean, that's a perfect description of you, Piers. Like easily agitated and angry and intolerant of people. I mean, this couldn't be a more perfect description of Piers Morgan. And I'm not joking. Well, finally, the discussion turns to Joey. And of course, Piers brings up how his buddy Bear Grylls quit being vegan because it's unhealthy. Right, Joey? It, this is proof. He's embarrassed to, that he promoted a plant-based diet when he drinks urine and bile out of a uh, camel's stomach. Urine's quite healthy, though. It's healthy? Would you drink urine? Would you rather drink urine? Absolutely, if I had to, yeah, if I was in the yeah. Oh, so I get it. So if he plants like Bear Grylls did, that's unhealthy. It makes you hangry and all these horrible things. But drinking urine, that's where you find health at. That's completely healthy, according to Piers Morgan. I think he's just full of crap here, as he always is when I see him do these interviews with vegans. I would put some money up to wager to see if Piers would really drink a nice, fresh glass of his own warm urine. Why are vegans so angry? <clears throat> well, that didn't take long for an ignorant, bigoted generalization of a whole class of people here. All you vegans are angry. No, not every last vegan is angry. We're all unique, different people. You know, we're just like the regular population, except we just don't consume animal, animal products. But yeah, when you put a vegan activist in front of Piers Morgan, yeah, he or she would tend to get a little bit pissed hearing the complete rubbish and nonsense spewing from his face and mouth. Well, um, he... He made a statement saying uh, the vegans are hangry and angry, but he carried on and banned all vegans from his restaurant because of one simple complaint. He's allowed a... to. Yeah. Yeah, very touche, Joey. I'm sure the chef that banned a whole group of people, all as vegans who can't go in his restaurant, I'm sure he was quite upset when this unpleasant review came about his restaurant from one single vegan. So yeah, but no, vegans, we're the ones that are all angry, right? <sighs> He's allowed to ban a whole group of people from well, the Well, he's a chef who's just sick of tailoring to vegan well, people who want to have all this stuff and get angry about meat. Well, listen, 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 wait a second. He he got a two uh, he got a two star review when he was on um, Great British Menu, right? He ripped mm -hmm. off his mic, smashed up the studio, and said that he wanted to kill the guy for giving him a two star review of a fish dish that he made. He didn't ban all fish <laughs> eaters from his restaurant. Why not? You so please, someone keep tabs for me. How many times we see blatant hypocrisy coming from peers here? I mean, so okay, so if a fish eater leaves a poor review and this celebrity chef just storms off the set. That fish eater doesn't get banned and all fish eaters don't get banned. But if one single vegan leaves a, a non-positive review, he bans all vegans. Yeah, you, that makes so much sense. So you were a gang member, so don't take the high moral ground of um, smashing something no, up. Am I, am I? Uh, what a low move. But, you know, this is Piers Morgan and he's a low person. I'm completely honest about True? it. There's been documentaries made right, about So don't take the high moral ground hey, of that I'm losing I'm his one, temper. Hey, you were literally in a gang. I was 10 years ago, 10 years sober now, you're gonna use I'm that. I'm just saying, if you're uh, gonna get personal with him. But anyways. So Piers may seem stupid, but he's intentionally trying to discredit Joey here by invoking a well-known logical fallacy and ad hominem where you attack the opponent's character or personal traits, like you were in a gang, you were in prison, in an attempt to undermine their argument here. 
But if Joey were a low person like Piers, he could have easily brought up how Piers was disgracefully booted off Good Morning Britain after receiving over 40,000 complaints for being basically a bigot, arrogant jerk. But unlike Joey, who reflected on the misdeeds of his past and made himself a better person as he is today, an awesome vegan activist, Piers is still the same bigoted jerk as he was as when he got booted off his show. I don't walk around with uh, dead baby pigs facing them like that. Like, does that look like someone oh, who really gives a damn about it? animals like you know and he, he, he had, that, that's his profile picture looking at a dead pig Correct. well talk about a low person i assume now we're talking about the celebrity chef here who banned all vegans that's his real profile pic i mean you're just trying to basically taunt vegans you're just basically announcing the world that you are a dic I'll ask you the question that i asked a vegan activist the other day okay. which is that given that uh 80 or 90 percent of the world's almonds come from california I mean, Piers is literally a broken record. Every time he interviews a vegan activist, he always brings up the same crap, the almonds and the bees. I mean, we already know where this is going, right? Do you know how avocados and almonds get made? Absolutely. You do? Yeah. Do you realize that in California, that literally billions of insects get murdered? Billions of insects get murdered. Billions. Where they're made in the involving the demolition of billions of bees who get murdered. How do you feel about the little guys? They don't guys? get murdered. Um, that's completely false, and I don't know why... How many billions, Excuse how many me, billions of bees die in, in the pollination? I've of, got the 2022 data right on, here. Then. They die mostly from parasites and pests. 66% die mm. of uh, varroa mites or other pests and parasites. In the, I mean, good for Joey. I mean, it's a no-brainer. If you're going to go on Piers Morgan, he's undoubtedly going to bring up the bees in the almonds. So I'm glad Joey brought some data with him here. And let's see what this is. Did Joey just cherry-pick something from like a vegan activist website or did he get it from some guy's blog let's see make disease in the making excuse me of no, no. almonds and avocados <laughs> they don't oh they do no. they do what, the data no, no. is here it's this here do you know where i read this, here this? Is data from u.s department of agriculture do you know where i read this Wait, i read yeah. it in the guardian oh, the vegan so bible i mean so this is hilarious and absurd and it gets more absurd as i'll show you here so yeah don't trust the united states department of agriculture their data the reports that show it's parasites and such that that kill the bees um, but no, trust peers. It's somehow vegans that kill the bees. And this is something he read in The Guardian. So let's take a look at this Guardian, Guardian article because he told us to look it up later. And I did. And it says that Joey's right. It says that beekeepers attributed the high mortality rate to pesticide exposure, diseases from parasites, and habitat loss. For instance, one farmer they spoke to had nearly 100% loss of hives from his infestation of some kind of mite, and then he had to cope with the intrusion of some Africanized killer bees, and finally, we consider the bane of his business, the parasite that Joey mentioned there, the Varroa mite. So the broader point that Pierce is missing about bee colony collapse disorder, and why he's such a hypocrite once again, is that he's blaming vegans and their obsession with eating all these almonds, which is totally untrue. He's blaming that on on the bees problems if like he's making it sound like if it weren't for vegans and their darned obsession with eating all the almonds and avocados those 50 odd billion bees that die all the time for us vegans they would be thriving nope that's not the case at all bees are suffering from a variety of problems like we mentioned here pesticides mites habitat loss this has nothing to do with vegans or their almonds all right. listen so you don't six, care about the little only guys six percent die from pesticides so it's not a really a rights violation they're not murdering the bees Joey, here's dying. my point the bees big are pig, just, no, big pig, one big second. Pig, a big pig makes you cry. A they little bee. You gas you don't, you don't care. No, listen. You don't you care do, about it. There's like, no reason to be upset about pollination. Sometimes 50 they die from billion. Mites. Why aren't you angry at the mites? Hang on, Joey. Barrel them. I mean, Joey's absolutely right. If peers were consistent in his passion for the bees, he's such a bee activist. I mean, why isn't he running some campaign against mites? These evil, horrible mites, because they're the real culprit killing his bees, right? Sometimes 50 billion bees die in six from weeks. From mites. To give you vegans. I've literally just your told you they die from mites. I've encountered tons of people in my vegan activism, just like peers, and facts don't matter. You can give them all the facts, spoon feed them the facts, all the data, all the science, all the studies. Facts don't matter. Just their opinion does, and the opinion does not change ever. Check no, out the, that's uh, not true. These are agricultural stats that is from not America. true. Read the, read the Guardian. I, I read it in an article, Let an me... anecdote, so it must be true. Listen. Joey. Yeah, we read the Guardian, and it backs up exactly what Joey and the USDA are saying, Piers. I mean, how long have you been a vegan? Uh, 10 years. Right. Do you actually, because you seem quite agitated to me. 
yeah, Piers, and you seem like the bastion of calm Buddhahood, right? Like you want a bit of- spout nonsense about bees being murdered when they die from mice. They are murdered. <laughs> They're murdered. You're I mean, it's so frustrating to watch Piers continually misuse the words murdered and slaughtered throughout this video. Bees are neither slaughtered nor murdered. They're unintentionally, accidentally harmed, sometimes killed in the productions of the foods that all people and even livestock consume. There's more livestock than humans. So if Piers truly wanted to reduce the amount of bee harm on this planet, you have no choice other than to go vegan because the f we consume the fewest amount of plants. It's, it's but clown think, behavior. But do, but do you think in a way you represent what I feel about vegans? That you're all quite hangry. Congratulations, Piers, for bringing up the same stupid thing three times now. Are you against animal cruelty, Piers? Yes. Then why do you support animal cruelty when you support the meat I don't. Industry? I've defended the bees for years. No, well, they're, no. they're not murdered. They die from oh, mites. Billions of bees are murdered we, so that you, you vegans honey? can you eat almonds and avocado. I'm sorry, there's so much stupidity here. That's why I have to keep jumping in. But Piers makes it sound like there's so many avocados and almonds that vegans eat. We're the ones responsible for all these billions of bee deaths. Like, no, sorry, Piers. We're maybe like one or two percent of the world population. It's you guys, you meat eaters, peers. You're the guys that are responsible, if anyone, for the billions of bee deaths because you're consuming the vast majority of these foods that you're complaining about. Secondly, if you're vegan, it doesn't go hand in hand that you're consuming almonds and avocados. You might hate them for whatever reasons or just prefer to eat some other foods. Maybe you can't get them where you live. So it, it's totally easy to be vegan and not consume almonds and avocados. So what I'm getting at is absolutely stupid and pointless for peers to try to pin almonds, avocados, and billions of bee deaths on vegans. It's completely untrue in any way you look at it. Billions of bees get killed to make almonds and avocados. People can go read the, 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 the proper reports about this. Yeah. Uh, and also they fly them in around the world or they truck them around the world and of course that is terrible for, for, the, for the planet. They truck animal products around the world. So who's keeping track of the hypocrisy tally here? So it's vegans. We're the ones that are flying plants and bees around the world and that's bad. We're destroying the environment and all this. But it's totally cool. Shipping meat and flying meat are, are all around the planet. That gets a free pass. Right. Well, here's Exposed. What I say. To, everyone, Exposed. to everyone watching this, either on the show tonight or on YouTube later, Go and Google bees, U.S. Department bees, of Agriculture staff, almonds, right here. avocados, yeah. and you'll see the truth. Yeah, we did that, and the Guardian article backs up everything Joey's saying there. This is a gas chamber, Piers. This is how pigs are killed and Piers. slaughtered in the UK. This is my Piers, investigation. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Why don't you Watch play it. me? Why don't you play me the sound of billions bees. of bees being murdered? Well, you can't do that, Piers, because bees aren't being crammed into slaughterhouses and being gassed by the thousands together, like the pigs that you eat. Well, I know that animals get killed so I can eat pigs. They're screaming to death. Right. Look at them, face them. What do you think bees do? Face them, they're What do you think bees do when you murder them? They're, they get killed by mites. This is gas yeah. chamber, look at them. Well, once again, Pierre shows himself to be a hypocrite, making this completely disingenuous comparison, trying to argue for some kind of moral equivalency here between like, say, a, a mite or mites eating bees. And comparing that, this is, this is the same thing, but uh, comparing that to like, pigs who have been exploited their entire lives being led to a slaughterhouse to be gassed simultaneously screaming in pain for their lives as the, as a pig producer exploits them for profit so they can sell their meat to people yeah that's exactly the same thing Pierce. totally not and you're doing some huge mental gymnastics to say a mite eating a bee is the same as killing pigs no, no. you they don't get, even want to look at it they get Coward. slaughtered you're a cow I'm cowardly look at it. I know that animals get They're slaughtered so that I UK. can eat animal yeah. meat. I've stuck this camera in this gas chamber in the UK at Pilgrim's Pride mm. and they scream for their lives and every single animal welfare uh, but here's my problem. Are against Here's it. my problem. And you uh, eat bacon and you promote it. I love bacon. You promote it. You I love promote, bacon. You, you say you're against that. I love cooking. sausages. And you also love being a hypocrite because on the one hand, you're arguing for bees. You're some kind of insect activist. Yet at the same time, you don't give a effing damn about the animals that you eat. So you are the ultimate in hypocrite, peers. I love it all. I love eating meat. You love animal cruelty. Yeah, I'm prepared yeah. to admit I love eating meat. You're not prepared to denounce avocado and because almond. Because you're making up stats. Eaters, that you, they, they don't get Because slaughtered. they actually lead to the extermination of millions of bees. Alive. Final
I should have brought this up at the beginning, but really what Piers is violating this entire time is the Nirvana fallacy. Yes, another fallacy. He's full of hypocrisy and fallacies, which is comparing a realistic solution such as not consuming animal products with this idealized one of perfection where there's absolutely zero harm and if a bug gets harmed, veganism is null and void and we're hypocrites. And discounting or even dismissing the realistic solution of veganism as a result of comparing it to this perfect world, some impossible standard, and ignoring the fact that improvements are often good enough reason. Why does this even have to happen? Why does Piers Morgan have to go after us, this tiny group of maybe, what, one or two percent of the human population? We're not a threat to him. Why does he have to waste his time and energy spreading this misinformation full of fallacies, full of hypocrisy to discredit us for? Like, what is he so threatened by? I guess that's what it is. It must trigger him somehow when he hears about us people who have a stance against animal cruelty and exploitation. And he goes through all these mental gymnastics to try to find some way to rationalize the inherent cruelty in his lifestyle, that he's responsible for every meal of every day of his life. So to Piers Morgan, the insect bee activist, if you really want to walk your talk here, you would have no choice other than to go vegan because if you really truly want to see the least amount of harm done to bees and other pollinating insects, you would have no choice other than to go vegan because we are responsible for the least amount of crop deaths. And once you're vegan, yeah, consume no avocados or almonds. You can be level 5,000 vegan, you know, totally. So we welcome into our fold and I commend you and bless you for your persistent, lifelong dedication to bee activism. So anyway, guys, leave your questions and comments down below. Let me know how many hypocrisies were tallied up in this video. I lost count. I'm guessing maybe five or six. Let me know if you were counting down below. Uh, let me know what you thought about Joey. I think Joey did a great job dealing with the constant shouting that Pierce does. Joey didn't let up. He just kept talking and shouting back as he should have done. So good for you, Joey, and keep rocking, Joe. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Till next time, subscribe, hit the join button, hit like, and remember, doesn't suck being vegan.